Good morning, world. It's another day that God has made. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed to be a part of God's ministry. I'm here to warn y'all today about life and death. A lot of people do not realize the things that can send you to hell. I'm here to warn you that it's a lot of things that can send you to hell. And some people do not understand. And I'm going to break it down for y'all today. The Lord has been dealing with me. And when I say he's been dealing, he's been dealing with my spirit. He's been dealing with my spirit. And when God calls you to do something, you better be obedient. You better be obedient and listen. It's just those little bitty signs that should catch your attention. Now, I was um, looking on YouTube the other day. By the way, today is August 23rd, 2017. Um, and I will be posting a video every day from this point on. Um, so... <clears throat> August 21st, 2017, um, which was my wife's birthday, I posted a video, and um, the Lord caught my attention because I was, I was basically scrolling through YouTube videos, and I seen this one particular video that caught my attention, and... It's, it amazed me to see how God works. God definitely works. When I say he works, he works. Believe me when I tell you this. There is a heaven and there is a hell. Most of y'all that think y'all going to heaven need to reevaluate yourself. Think about the thing that's going on in your life. Because a lot of people that say they're going to heaven, not going to heaven. Because first of all, it's a lot of things that you have to do. And I'm not just talking about the basic things. Yeah, going to church every Sunday. But then when you leave church, it's a whole other ball game. You can't be one foot in the church and one foot in the streets. A little lie can send you to hell. A big lie can send you to hell. Little sin can send you to hell. You cannot have a spot on your body from sin. There is no sin in the kingdom of God. There is no sin in the kingdom of God. And a lot of people say, well, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. Well, what makes you think that you're going to heaven? Just because you believe in God? A lot of people believe in God, but that doesn't mean that they're going to heaven. You have to follow the rules. There are rules to going to heaven. First of all, you have to you have to you have to commit your life to Christ. Submit your life to Christ. You have to give your life to Christ. You have to believe that he died and that he rose on the third day with all power in his hands. And that hell could not hold him. You have to believe that in your heart. And not only you have to believe that in your heart, but you have to, you have to live the word. You have to live the word. A lot of people know God's word, but they don't live the word. That's another thing that we have to start doing, y'all. We have to start living the word. I hear a lot of people, they can preach the word, but they can't live the word. It's a lot of things that we must do. We must share with people that God is coming back. He is coming back, y'all. Look at the signs of today. Look what's going on in the world, y'all. Look what's going on. There's so much going on with the government. Babies having babies. 
out of wedlock. We have people cheating on their wives, their husbands. And if you're not married, you shouldn't be having sex at all. I'm just going to be real with you. And if, and if you have had sex before you was married, then you should be asking God for forgiveness. You must ask God for forgiveness. And how you ask God for forgiveness, you say, Father God, forgive me for the sins that I know about and my unknown sins, the ones that you don't know about. So that he can forgive you. But that doesn't mean keep repeating your sins over and over and over again. You know, I'm thankful that I'm now into ministry because before when I wasn't when I wasn't saved, I was out there, y'all. I was out there. When I say I was out there, I was doing things that I wasn't supposed to be doing. But God saw past my thoughts because he knew where I was headed. That's why he gave me time. He gave me time to work my life out. And that's why I came to Christ. I gave my I gave my life to Christ. He knew, see, we may do things in the beginning, but God knows the ending. He knows the 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 ending of every situation. And we must submit to him. We must submit to Christ because if we don't submit to him, you don't know when you may leave here, y'all. It hurts my heart. It hurts my heart to see people that don't even believe in God. That don't believe in God. How do you think that you breathe every day? How do you think that you that you made it through all them situations that you've been through? When that time when you should have died. That time that you should have died, but God saw past your thoughts. God was there. When you had that bad relationship and you didn't know how you was going to get out of it, God was there. He's there in the midnight hour. He's always there. All you got to do is call on the blood of Jesus. He will answer your prayers. Don't give up, saints. Don't give up. Don't give up on God because he will not. And I repeat, he will not give up on you. You got to believe in your heart. Believe in your heart. We put too much energy into negativity. I was just talking with my pastor um, yesterday when we went to Bible study. I told him we put a lot of energy into negativity. If we took all that energy and put, put it towards positivity, we'll all be good. But we must believe. We got to believe. If you, can be if you believe it, you will receive it. I'm talking to you. Whoever is watching this video right now, if you believe it, you can receive it. Trust that God will work out all your situations. He will see you through everything. God is not a failing God. He's still in the business of helping others. And I'm trying to tell y'all, it's time to answer your calling. It's time to answer your calling, y'all. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. You don't know when you're going to leave here. You don't know when you're going to leave here. People here today and gone today. People here today and gone tomorrow. We not promised the next hour. We must repent. We, we must repent. Ask for forgiveness. Ask the Lord God to come into your heart. Ask him to come into your heart. Yes, I 